it's a time bomb. We all know this is a time bomb. If you know anything about this gas, they call it natural, but there's nothing natural about it. They put ethane in it just to cool it down. It's very volatile. All these trucks are going to come out from 0.5. I hope it never gets from 0.5 from beyond here. We need to stop this today because we're going to have a devastating crisis within the community. If something goes wrong, these pipelines, they deteriorate, they burst. We don't know when it's gonna happen unexpectedly. It's around the schools, it's around the community. Cuomo takes, needs to look at this. All these politicians in the state need to look at this and we need to stop it today. And this is why I decided to voice my opinion this morning. I just walked the street, I grew up on Siegel Street and I seen the destruction that year after year comes upon this community and this pipeline needs not to go any further. My name is Laura Chandel. I'm an organizer with Food and Water Action. Uh, we're all here today to say no to the North Brooklyn fracked gas pipeline under construction in Bushwick, Brooklyn, uh, destined for Greenpoint. We, fracked gas is a climate disaster, first off. Um, we have no more time left to be building new fossil fuel infrastructure if we need, if we want to dig ourselves out of the climate hole that we're in. But furthermore, pipelines pose a serious risk to the communities that they're built in. And there are 49,000 people in the evacuation zone of this pipeline under construction. And National Grid has no evacuation plan. This pipe could burst. Just a few weeks ago, National Grid had a pipeline that uh, had an incident that injured two of the workers. We know this infrastructure is dangerous for people, uh, the community, it's uh, dangerous for our climate, and uh, the community says no. We want public power, we want renewable energy, so the community's out here today to tell Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio, we don't want any fracked gas, we say no to the North Brooklyn Pipeline. Oh, when this pipeline, oh, when this pipeline. get shut down! Get get shut down. down. My name is Lee Zushi and I am here today to say no to National Grid's frack gas pipeline. Um, I'm a National Grid radiator, I work really hard for my money and I'm so, so, so opposed to them raising my bills to put a frack gas pipeline through this community. It's 2020, uh, we need to be getting off of gas, not investing in it. This is money going in the wrong direction, we should be investing this in renewables. I've also spent a lot of time in Pennsylvania on the other end of these pipelines where people can't drink their water, their air is poisoning them. So it's so immoral for us to say no to fracking here in New York, but to continue to frack people I love in Pennsylvania and use that gas here. So we're here today as a community to say hell no, we won't accept this pipeline. Uh, we hope Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo stand with us, but if they don't, the community will stop this pipeline if they don't have the courage and the climate leadership to do it. As a community, as a neighborhood, to tell the National Grid and the infrastructure community for fossil fuels that enough is enough. enough. Am I right? Enough. 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 enough is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Hi. My name is Alvin Pena. I'm here from the State Senator Salazar's office, and I would like to just say that I'm here because North Brooklyn is here to say they've had enough, and enough is enough when it comes to North Brooklyn and infrastructure for fossil fuels and their industry of, of, of anti-nature, -na anti-environmentalism, anti-sustainability, anti-preservation of our environment. We have to make a stand, and at some point, we have to put our foot in the ground, and we have to say that no more is where we stand. And in North Brooklyn, we've had enough. We have to pivot away and we have to start looking forward to, to further sustainability. Thank you very much. We and the children will be facing the repercussions of this pipeline. Yes. That's true. Oh, the children here sitting on their parents' shoulders will have to face the repercussions of a largely unlivable world. Yeah. Future. That's right. We know That's right. we can have green jobs. We demand a Green New Deal and an end to this dangerous, unnecessary.
necessary pipeline that is contributing to the climate emergency. Yeah. Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm here today for the Sunrise Movement and for the Same Energy Project. We know we have 10 years left to do anything meaningful to fight the climate crisis. We know that all of the children here and young people like me will face the brunt of this climate crisis and will have to live in a largely unlivable world. We're here today to say no to the building out of this North Brooklyn pipeline and to say yes to green jobs and a Green New Deal. Greenpoint is no stranger to what National Grid is trying to do. We're one of the city's first environmental justice communities. The Industrial Revolution was born in our neighborhood. The Lakota Nation have a prophecy of a black snake called Zuzuka Saint. Can you repeat that with me? Zuzuka Saint. The prophecy of the black snake. A massive black snake. Keep going, keep scrolling. <laughs> Who would devour your home? Who? Hey, my name is Peter Harrison. I'm a Democratic Socialist running for Congress in New York 12, which is the east side of Manhattan, Western Queens, and North Brooklyn, where this pipeline, in theory, could be going to. I'm here because, really, this is a simple story about corporate greed and community power. The fact is, our planet is dying, and we need to make some really dramatic decisions to get our energy system off of fossil fuels, to get our economy off of greed and profit for corporations and I think what brings me out here today in the freezing cold um, is the fact that so many community members from all these different neighborhoods from Brownsville to East uh, New York to um, up to Greenpoint we're all out here saying that there is a better way to do something there's a better way to organize our economy there's a better way to get our energy and it doesn't have to be based on fossil fuels it doesn't have to be compromising with big corporations or national monopolies it's simple things like renewable energy i mean these are ideas out there that we already know work we just have to have the political courage to do it it's really inspiring to be around these community members uh, so i'm here just standing in solidarity very much in favor of public power and uh, permanently banning any fracking, any type of fossil fuel energy. These are these are decisions that we can make, we can make tomorrow if we wanted to. So I'm out here fighting and that's what I hope to do in Congress. My name is Kim Fratchek. I'm here because I live on a street where they're building a massive fracked gas pipeline that we don't need and we don't want to pay for.